if you could peer into the future with 100% clarity. If you knew in advance that whenever you might bless a particular people, you yourself would receive a blessing. If you discovered that each time you cursed that same people, you would bring certain curses upon yourself. If you could be sure these promises were real, and if you could identify the people of both the blessing and the curse, then how would you behave toward that people? Some folks simply choose to take God at His word. Others require a higher standard of evidence. Enter John McTernan, former federal agent, Bible investigator, lover of the truth, and author of As America Has Done to Israel. McTernan's quest for the truth exposes, explores, and extinguishes these burning questions. Is God's word true? Can it be trusted? Do we have proof? McTernan unearths the biblical promises to God's people, then catalogs both the blessings and curses that came upon this nation as our support for Israel and the Jews has periodically waxed and waned. The results are certain to astound you. For instance, did you know that George Washington, the father of our country, was a faithful friend of the Jewish people? When America was in its infancy, its brightest days yet to dawn, Washington wrote glowing letters of admiration and support to Jewish congregations in the U.S. This early spirit of Semitic tolerance and love grew, giving birth to Zionist organizations here in America that helped pave the way for the rebirth of Israel and the fulfillment of God's promises to His covenant people. Throughout this lengthy period, America prospered and became a world power. However, as the United States has walked away from God and our support for Israel, starting in 1991, the results have been devastating. McTernan's book lists numerous disasters, including the three greatest in U.S. history, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Andrew, and the Northridge earthquake, totaling $334.8 billion in damage. Each one occurred virtually simultaneously with American efforts to force the division of Israel in direct opposition to the Bible and the clearly stated will of God. This destructive pattern started on October 30, 1991, when President Bush initiated the Madrid peace process to divide the land of Israel and it continues to this day. On the day of his speech inaugurating this policy, Bush's own home in Kennebunkport, Maine, was destroyed by a freakish hurricane now known as the Perfect Storm. The facts speak for themselves in John's book, As America Has Done to Israel. History's proof is foolproof. America is blessed as the Jews are blessed. America is cursed as the Jews and Israel are cursed. But how do we interpret these facts? Could this be mere coincidence? Or does it prove the authority of God's Word? We must each decide and act accordingly. There are blessings to gain and curses to shun. <laughs>